Hello children, welcome to class 4, subject EVS 1, chapter number 24 and today we are going to learn a new lesson that is are we endangering our environment. So what do you mean by endangering? It means to put someone or something in risk or in danger. So are we really putting our environment or our earth in danger by using such kind of uh, materials which could harm us also and could harm our nature as well so let's find out some of the things in this lesson 20 years ago there were open fields around the city today there are new colonies there now there is also a difference between the village area and the city area in village side area still people are having lot of problems lack of electricity lack of water and many such things are there but same way if we see to the city side area that's everything been provided from water to houses uh, to all the supplies whichever is needed the progress made by human beings man is the most intelligent animal he makes use of his intelligence to make his life more comfortable and happy as man is the most intelligent animal he has a capacity to create new things or and produce new things from the materials in the environment let's see which are the materials about 150 years ago researchers found out how to use mineral oil Man then invented many vehicles that would run on fuel, which includes motor car, bus, truck and scooter. They also developed railway engines that would run on coal. Earlier, animals were used for transportation. For example, the horse cart and also the bullock cart to travel from one place to the another and also to save both time and labor. The things we need to satisfy our various wants are obtained definitely from the nature that is from the forest, farms, mines and factories. But sometimes wastewater from factories is let into the rivers. This has an adverse effect on the environment. This further has ill effects on all the living things. Growth in population In the last 60 years, the population of a country has tripled. So demand for all goods and services is growing fast. People from the villages are migrating. Migrating means moving from one place to the another. To cities in search of employment. Employment means work. This has made the cities overcrowded. Cities are experiencing the problem of shortage of water and houses. Trees are being cut down to make new spaces and big spaces so that new buildings and colonies could be made in the cities. In cities, one has to travel long distances to get to work. Therefore, some people in cities use vehicles that run on fuels. These vehicles spew out smoke as they are driven around. This increases the air pollution in the cities. Due to air pollution, some suffer people suffer from breathing problems like asthma, lung disease, etc. Due to cutting down of trees, birds do not find places to build their nests. So now there are fewer and fewer birds noticed in cities. Sometimes drainage system in cities fail. Then water collects in the midst of living areas. Mosquitoes grow in it. They spread diseases like malaria, dengue, filaria, chikungunya, etc. For that purpose, drainage system has to be proper and always covered. It is important that the time to time sanitization done so that there will be less amount of diseases spread in our areas. I hope you have understood about the progress made by the human and the effects of growth in population very well. Thank you.